Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 133 for Wednesday, January 18th, 2017. System Tweaks. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Audible. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audible.com slash arena. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. Not sure if you heard by now, but I'm now a little more than one week into my time with Android's major competing OS, that's Apple's iOS. I've never spent this much time with an iPhone. In the past, it was maybe, you know, picking it up for a minute at a time here or there. And now I'm living with one for the full month uh, while Megan Maroney, my co-host on Tech News Today and host of iOS Today, devotes her time to my Google Pixel XL. One thing I've come to miss is some of the customization capabilities that Android affords. It's no surprise that Android is a bit more open when it comes to modifying the inner workings of the OS on a deeper level than what you find on iOS. Apple keeps the ship really tied down pretty tightly in that regard. So I thought today I'd take a look at a few apps that allow Android users to get a bit geeky with their OS. Let's check out a few system tweaks in this week's roundup. One thing that Android has over iOS, and it's a feature that keeps me engaged with the platform, is the ability to replace system actions with other ones. For example, when you tap a media stream, Uh, you may have a number of apps installed on your Android device that are capable of playing that format. So you get a window that pops up that asks which app you want to launch to play it. And if you do nothing, that means nothing happens, nothing launches at all. An app called Better Open With gives you control over that common system behavior by allowing you to assign priority to certain apps on your device. First, I'll hop into the various types of files and formats that I want to configure within Better Open With. I'll jump into the dialer just as one example, and here I'm shown the different apps on my device that identify themselves as dialer options. I can hide any that I don't think I'm ever going to really need to see. In this case, I wouldn't expect to see contacts in that context, so I'll go ahead and hide that. Uh, Then I can choose a preferred app, the app I actually use more often than any other. And then down below, I can set a countdown timer. Let's just put five seconds down there. Finally, let's now pull up a phone number on a web page. And when I tap it, I'm shown the default open with menu, uh, but you can see there better open with is one of those selections as well. This one time only, I'm going to select always open with better open with. And now in the future, when I tap that phone number on a web page, better open with's improved overlay now appears. The app I chose as my preferred app in the setup is now highlighted, and those that I hid aren't there anymore at all. And down below, you can see the countdown timer is running, that if nothing is tapped at all, the default app is going to actually launch. Ultimately, what this allows for is for me to launch automatically into my default if I want, but I also still have the option to choose alternatives when I want to. Find Better Open With in the Play Store for free. In the world of iOS, there is a feature in the stock settings that allows you to determine what the volume rocker on the device actually controls. Does it always control the ringer, or would you rather it control the volume of media and apps? Well, on Android, that volume rocker can shift. Mostly it controls the ringer, but if you're within an app that's playing media, it will magically transform to control media volume. It's kind of all over the place. Some people would rather it always control media volume playback and leave that ringer volume alone. If that someone is you, then you should download Rocker Locker. As far as apps go, it's about as dead simple as it comes. I simply tap into the app and touch the big button to enable, and that's it. While it's active, no matter what app I'm in or what state the device is in, my volume rocker will only control 
the volume of media playback and it'll leave the ringer volume untouched. And it survives a reboot as well. Don't want it on anymore, you simply launch Rocker Locker and disable the feature. No bells, no whistles, no ads, just a one-trick pony that will make some of you very happy. Find Rocker Locker in the Play Store for free. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Audible. I'm a huge Audible fan. I've been a subscriber for years now, and we're going to talk about a little bit about why. Audible is a leading provider of audiobooks across all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. For listeners of Android App Arena, Audible is offering a free audiobook to give you a chance to try out their service. You already know what to do. You listen to podcasts all the time. It's kind of the same thing, except you're listening to books. It's pretty awesome stuff. The book I'm listening to right now is actually a total uh, departure for me in my usual diet of rock and roll autobiographies. It's normally what I consume through Audible. I have tons of them in my my library. Uh, I've gotten on a kick lately of listening to books on investing, some in real estate, some beyond that kind of focus. But a book that's really captured my attention right now at the moment is Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. Uh, It's a way to take how we pay ourselves when it comes to the business that we do. Once we pay all the things that we need to pay, we assume that what is left is then ours to figure out for ourselves. But as you probably know, so often we pay out based on what we have at that moment. And that in turn leaves little or nothing for ourselves. So Profit First is all about how we change that line of thinking to make paying ourselves a higher priority and how we execute that idea safely so that we can kind of, you know, kick a little down to ourselves before we take care of the other have tos. Uh, As an audiobook, it's awesome because the author actually adds in extra comments about the stuff that he wrote in the book to kind of offer extra features, kind of extends his thoughts uh, or adds extra context. It's a great example of why audiobooks can sometimes be better than sitting down and reading a book extra value, extra insight, direct from the person who wrote it. And that's what you get with Profit First. That's just one of many books that you can find uh, with Audible. To download this audiobook for free or get one of your choice, just go to audible.com slash arena and check it out for yourself. You'll you'll get lost in their selection. That's audible.com slash arena. And we thank Audible for their support. All right, this next system tweak gives you control over quick settings. Let's go. A whole world of tweakability opened up with the quick settings section of Android, but often what you see is what you get. That is, of course, unless you install an app that allows you to add really whatever you like to that section. Custom quick settings is the app to do just that. Here's the starting point. So let's tap the plus button, the fab button that you see down there to start adding a tile. Depending on your version of Android, you may need to jump through some additional hoops to activate the app. But once you do, you get this interface where you can select the action of your dream tile. Say you want to launch an app quickly from the quick settings pane. You can just select that app uh, and it'll appear there going forward as a tile. If you have a website that you want easy one tap access to, you can just drop it in there, tap it, and you'll jump to the site. You get the picture. For 99 cents, you can remove ads from the interface, and more importantly, you'll gain access to a whole slew of other tile options, kind of more advanced options. System shortcuts, also widgets, and toggles of all types, and even catered to root users. Root users get extra toggle options that go a bit deeper than normal, allowing for one-tap ADB access, some forced immersive mode settings, and all sorts of system restart options from your quick settings. And finally, live toggles that show things like current weather conditions or CPU speed in real time. It's updated in real time. You can also customize the look of those tiles as well as program long press actions for each of them, kind of doubling their capability. The developer does warn that the app might not work on heavily skinned versions of Android, so you'll want to try it for free first uh, to see if it works for you before buying the paid version. Find custom quick settings in the Play Store right now. So there's three ways that you can grab a hold of that Android device and force it to be the phone you've always wanted it to be. There's undoubtedly so many more. I know I've missed them, so this is where I depend on you. Please send them to me, arena at twit.tv, or you can always post those to the subreddit at Android App Arena. 
reddit.com. That shares it with me, but it also shares it with the rest of the world. That's very nice of you. Uh, the recorded show plays every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Today at twit.tv slash live. And new episodes appear later in the evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell. I'll see you next week in the arena. Mm-hmm.